My name is Nico Johnson. My name is Lily Valdez. Cecilia Martinez. Uh, my name is Casey Russell. Kevin Gronhoff. Okay. Yeah. Maurice Prophet. I'm from Elgin, Illinois. I am from the south side of Chicago, southwest side. I'm from the south suburbs of Chicago, Matson, Illinois. Chicago. I'm from Woodridge, Illinois. Uh, Algonquin, Illinois, northwest suburbs. Chicago, Illinois. Well, the last show you saw me in was Rise or Riot, and I was playing the character of Cheeto. Um, I've been in uh, some other plays like Othello. Um, I've been in uh, this play called Columbinus, and I was playing the jock. A few other shows. Rise or Riot. Alice in Wonderland, and I was one of the cards. And I also was a narrator for Cinderella. And then um, I just picked up again, maybe about a year ago. Um, you can see me in Rise of Riot, um, Chicago Fire season three, episode 11. Um, a bunch of other stage plays, Fuzzy Wuzzy Man, for Color Boys, Tainted Goods, Not For The Tears, all that type of stuff. Chicago Med and Chicago Fire. And the Riser Riot. <laughs> I played Officer Kaplan, um, so he was a pretty bad guy, so it'll be fun to not totally play a really bad guy this time. You've probably seen me in the critically acclaimed Riser Riot, playing Mr. DiBiase, who's a pretty great guy. <laughs> uh, many. I just got done doing Riser Riot, which was a hit, and that was this past February. And the latest project we have on the docket is I Want You to Want Me, which is another show that I've written and directed uh, that will be live at the Gorilla Tango Theater uh, at the end of August. I like Will Smith a lot. He's a really good actor. Sometimes I do like Michelle Rodriguez, sometimes Jennifer Lopez, sometimes Taraji P. Henson. I like a lot of actors. Uh, Forrest Whitaker, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio, those two. Antoine Mackey. I think he's dope. <laughs> Whoever curses like a sailor. Um, I'm gonna have to go, you know, I'm gonna pick two. I'm gonna go with Bradley Cooper, because he's adorable, and Chris Pratt, because he was kind of chubby and then got super ripped and is super famous and he used to live in a van. So that's all cool things. Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh. I'd like to say Tom Hardy, because he's pretty awesome. I think he can do just about anything. I would say, and this is gonna sound, this is gonna sound kind of odd. I would say Donald Glover, and I'm, the only reason why I say Donald Glover is because in real life our our personalities are very are very similar. Hey, sometimes uh, this guy, he's real sly, slick, um, fast talking guy who um, he's like doesn't have it all together yet, but he's getting it together. He's trying to. He's a little hustler. Has his little little side jobs he has like Airbnb. He's uh, drives for Uber. Does all these little focus groups. Has his girl Lily. They have this little uh, these, these fights all the time that they're having. So he's he's a guy who's just not traditional. Marcus is his only drunk. I am playing Sabrina. She's Eddie Santana's girlfriend, and she is. She's a freaking bomb. She's like fearless and she's loud and she's a fighter. She's argumentative, but she's sweet inside and she's very loving. She loves to love. I am Deontay, the, um, I guess, I wouldn't say womanizer, but I'm, I'm more of like a, the player type. Um, but I actually have a girlfriend now that I'm trying to settle down with, but I'm still at the same time trying to figure out a way to, uh, take it to that next level. Um, but the old me is starting to try to creep back in. So. I'm playing Angie Ramirez. Well, she has a mouth like me. She likes to call people bitches. And she likes to start trouble. I am playing uh, Bradley Madden. Um, without giving too much away about his ties. He's related to some of the people in the show somehow. Um, but really his, his main um, main contribution is an interaction he has with the, the two guys that are trying to woo their women 
and uh, has a bit of a comical role and gives them a hard time. I play two characters, Delivery Man Ian number one and Delivery Man Ian number two. Uh, the first Ian, Delivery Man, is a swell character. The story's really about him. Uh, you know, he's just a happy-go-lucky guy who really cares about people's nutritional needs. Uh, and so he delivers food and smokes a lot of weed. Um, they're going to get a whole lot of relationships, um, difficulties and, and stuff that they're going to see. Um, they're just going to learn a lot about like how the dynamics of relationships, how they work between two separate relationships and how they, they're different. So it's really good. So come see the show. Uh, there's definitely a lot of relationship issues that come up. Uh, there's some drama, there's comedy, so it's going to be a fun play. Uh, they're going to see a lot of comedy. Uh, uh, this, this is going to be some laughs. There's going to be some parts where pretty, a lot, pretty much a lot of the, the women will be able to relate to, especially dealing with relationships, um, especially if you have those uh, relationships uh, uh, like Nico uh, and, and the character he's playing. That crazy relationship, and then you're gonna have a relationship that, that, I, that I'm playing, that I'm in, um, where it's uh, you can feel this love there, um, but in the same time, we're still trying to figure out figure out how to mesh together. They should expect um, sort of coming of age story, uh, showing real life, you know, showing the issues that people face. Um, you know, it's really kind of a story of, of young love, you know, struggle and relationships, which I think that we all kind of go through and deal with. Um, almost, um, you know, a path from kind of an immature relationship to learning about how to have a more mature relationship uh, with another person. Really see, I want you to want. Crashes, explosions, lots of excitement. Uh, no, they should expect to see uh, a very relatable story about uh, young lovers going on their paths. You should expect, you're gonna see a lot. You're gonna see a lot in terms of what modern day relationships really do look like. Uh, the goal of this show <clears throat> really overall is to kind of step away from the typical, the typical love story that's, that's being told all the time. You know, you know, boy meets girl, girl meets boy, uh, co you know, conflicts, uh, you know, they're, they're happy, they're, 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 they're happy, they're love, they're all lovey-dovey, conflicts arise, and then there's an end scene where <clears throat> boy is chasing girl at the airport, making, making sure she doesn't catch her flight, so this way he can tell her that he, he loves her, and then takes her home, and everybody lets happy letter ever after. No, it's not that. This is a very urban, a very gritty, a very honest love story that we're telling, and we wanted to make sure that this is something that the audience can really relate to directly. That these are going to be situations that we've all have been, have, we, we've all been in before, or we're going to be in at some point in time in our lives. So it's a very relatable, very honest, very gritty story, but it's also at the same time very fun and something that you're not going to get anywhere else. Um, God is love. Love is giving, it's forgiving, and it's definitely God. So. Love is patient, love is kind. That's in the Bible. Not sure what scripture. I don't think there is one definition. It's different for everybody. It's definitely a feeling that, you know, if it's not reciprocated by the other person, it's terrible. It can take you six months to get over it. It can take you six years to get over it. Um, I think, you know, it's wanting to be with that person every day no matter what, no matter what they look like, no matter their financial situation, you stay with them and you're willing to work at it to help make them a better person for you. Love is, you know, that bond between two people that is kind of inseparable. It's something different. It's hard to put a really a, a solid quality on it, but it's kind of like, you know, even when you're really pissed at that person, you still want to hang out with them and like, you still want to make sure that that person is okay. And, and that, that you guys will make it, you know, no matter what, you guys will make it work. So I feel like that's a, it's the glue. Love is an unbreakable bond between two people, whether it's shared between friends or lovers. Uh, yeah. 
unlimited care and uh, emotional support. Love. It's hard. To, it's hard to compartmentalize that that word or that that meaning into one um, into one box. Um, but love really is uh, a true instinct, and I think it's a, I think it's an instinct, to, an instinctual power that really cannot that really cannot parallel to anything else that you experience. It's just one of those it's one of those things where you just know it, where you know it's happening, and you know when it's but you know when it's also fading at the same time. And there's never really a timetable in terms of like how to be able to tell when it's gonna happen, but you know when it's happening. Hey, Nico, Anna. Wait, what was the question? <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> yeah, I'm recording. Camera's rolling. Can you just pop this lid up a little bit? Oh, dude. <laughs> it is a love story after all. Find out more by coming to see the show.